Hey, what's up guys? So in today's video, I was going to talk about the history of the VTSS, the history of the Russian tax police, and other agencies that use the helmet. So I'll get started. These helmets were made from 1988 to 1992. They were made in very minimal numbers, with approximately only 200 of them being made in total, the visored ones. There was also an, uh, a Vithya's S helmet that was made without the visor. It was not made to have a visor on it, and approximately 100 of those were made. And these helmets were made out of steel, um, and they were very heavy. So wearing these for extended periods of time can get very tiring. And the people who use these helmets are pretty interesting. The Russian tax police and the Russians version of the DEA, um, American, they called the Drug Enforcement Agency. So those two agencies were the main people to use this helmet. Um, the Russian tax police, well, you're probably wondering why the Russian tax police were this heavily armored. Well, it's because before they were this heavily armored, uh, Russian tax police were getting harassed like the tax collectors, they couldn't really fight against the people who haven't paid their taxes. So what needed to happen was the Russian government um, like made an entire special forces for, you know, collecting taxes pretty much. And that turned into the Russian tax police. And what they did was they run, uh, went around um, collecting taxes, obviously. But the... People not paying their taxes were heavily armored as well. So, in most cases, at least. So, the first person breaching, like a house or wherever the people paying their tax, not paying their taxes resided, the first person breaching would be wearing this because they have the highest chance of being shot if the people not paying their taxes are you know, huddled down, ready to shoot at them. So, this is why they'd be equipped with this. This helmet can only withstand um, pistol rounds. It cannot go past um, rifle rounds. Rifle rounds will go straight through this. It was, uh, I think the class protection was uh, rated two. So the Russian DEA also used this helmet, the Drug Enforcement Agency, um, for cracking down on you know drug traffickers and such. Yeah, tax police used this helmet. There's a lot of uh, very cool photos of the Russian tax police wearing this helmet. Um, very interesting. I recommend if you haven't seen it, you should probably look it up. Because there's some of the coolest photos you'll ever see. In my opinion, at least. Yeah. Very cool helmet. Very interesting history behind it. And these helmets were also seen used past the Second Chechen War. In very sporadic uh, pictures. So, Which is very interesting as well. Yeah.